The place that we have to start is with truth. Reconciliation will come sometime, but right now, truth is where we need to uh, begin the journey with each other. Walking Through the Fire is a musical film experience that brought together Indigenous artists from across the country. Ahead of its premiere at the Westdale next weekend, filmmaker and band leader from Sultans of String, Chris McCool, and Jim Sheehan singer-songwriter Shannon Thunderbird joins us now. Thank you so much both for being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, yes. Hey, tell us about the film. Do you want to start? <laughs> You know you prefer to start. It all. It, it, it all well, you were here first. <laughs> indigenous. <laughs> but go, 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 give me a hard time. You could start. Okay. It actually it started with the CD, Walking okay. Through yep. the Fire, bringing okay, together indigenous, well. art, indigenous <laughs> artists from coast to coast to coast. Okay. Um, right through the Arctic, the West Coast, represented by Shannon, the East Coast. And that turned into a live tour. We took it across the country. We even got to open for Robert Plant in front of oh, 25,000 people awesome. this summer <laughs> at Menin Folk Festival. And then we had so much content, we turned it into a film. Yeah. And in a way, I actually, don't tell anyone this, but I actually prefer the film like in a way better. because you get to hear all the stories, like the artists sharing of their of themselves, their histories, their stories, their struggles, and their joys. You get to hear them speaking in their own voice with music on yeah. either side, so yeah. you get the full experience. Okay, uh, the inspiration. How did we get to this point? Well, <laughs> it started. <laughs> it started with the CD. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, yep. A, a, a simple CD, which has all Indigenous singers. That's mm -hmm. what makes it very special. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that's what uh, that's what we did. Yeah. And then we started getting requests for a live show. Right. And so now Christopher had to sit down and figure out how do we turn that into a live show, mm -hmm. uh, which of course he did with, with, with help from others. Mm -hmm. And so we toured that live show and mm -hmm. we were continuing to. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've done over 50 shows wow. of the live show. Um, which doesn't have all of the singers on stage. There's three, there's six people. There's the Sultans, the three of them, mm -hmm. and then myself and two others um, who are, um, who do their, yes, well, there you go. They're yeah. They're right, yeah. There they are right there. And so we, we do the live show, and then out of that came the film. Right. And so now we're we're sitting with with this film that um, we David we we did a, a a showing of it in Toronto on uh, November the first and to wild I mean honestly it was incredibly well received amazing I mean a standing, I'm not surprised a standing ovation for a film <laughs> that's great though that's yeah, wonderful yeah, it was very cool we laughed that right one, up one of the cool things and one of the very special things about having it at the Westdale Theater mm -hmm. on November 17th is that they've got a full surround system you know yeah. the big screen and they've done this multi-million dollar uh, investment in that theater yeah. and so we mixed it in surround sound so when you're sitting there uh, in the middle of the of the audience you can hear the city of Prague Philharmonic oh. all around you you can hear guitar <laughs> solos uh, that's incredible violin solos coming out of the sides the singer in the front and it's truly an immersive experience mm -hmm. and one of the great things about the film again is like there we hear about the struggles of indigenous people mm -hmm. in this culture we get to mm -hmm. learn about the truth of the indigenous experience about residential schools mm -hmm. and of cultural genocide um, the Indian Act, which is still in force today. So but there's also, a lot of education. There's education, but also we get to experience the joy of this culture, the culture that was supposed to be eradicated. Mm -hmm. That they, you know, um, McDonald said, uh, you know, kill the Indian and the child. Mm -hmm. They failed. The culture survived, and the artists get to share with their culture. And something that I learned as a settler, okay. Canadian here, is the importance of. Uh, learning from this culture, learning about the languages, learning about the people. Learning about everything. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. We gotta go. I gotta send this over to Brian, but <laughs> I can sit here. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can sit here with you, you guys all day. I drove traffic to come through. <laughs> I know, I know. Walking through the fire, a visual <laughs> album. You can catch it at the Westdale <laughs> on Sunday, November the 17th. Get your tickets now. Now. All right. Now. Now. now.
<laughs> she drove through Toronto traffic to get here and get the tickets. <laughs>